Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square over here with T Square Talk. So, today we're going to talk a little bit about bartering in the streets when the eventual collapse comes. Now, I. <laughs> I say that a little loosely. I'm joking about that. It's the end of the world. Look out. Um, I, I, I'm hearing it more and more. Um, but here's the truth. What we're really going to be talking about today is fractional silver. Uh, I, I pulled out some different fractional stuff. Uh, this is stuff that, if you're into fractional silver, this is some stuff that has extremely high premiums and some stuff that you're not paying that crazy. Well, if you're smart about it. Although even the stuff that had low premiums is starting to get pretty crazy on that too. But I want you guys to be aware. The lower the premium, the better the buy. Keep your purchases as close to silver spot price as you can get it. Don't be afraid to try to negotiate. You're not going to be able to negotiate with an online bullion dealer or some call center. But you can negotiate at a gun show, at a flea market, at a yard sale at a person's house that you know he's a stacker. Maybe you're meeting up with someone for lunch and he's going to show you a few things. Um, these are opportunities for you to negotiate. I recommend you do because the closer you get it, sometimes they're already giving it to you at the best price they can do. But other times, as I have found the majority of the cases, um, hey, if I take all of it, what kind of deal can you give me then? That's why it's good to have other people in your circles that you can trade and wheel and deal with so you can split up the stack and everybody gets a better deal. And then usually, you know, someone will be like, hey, I'll buy you lunch if you cut me in on it. Absolutely. With that being said, please hit that subscribe button. I need your help. We're trying to hit 10,000 subs. We're on the fast track right now. You can help me out. You're going to love this video. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a question. This video is tailored to a question that I had literally a couple days ago about 90% silver and fractional silver. Um, what is the purpose of 90% silver was exactly what he wanted to know. Um, here's the purpose of 90% silver. I can trade it in the street. If you've been investing for any long period of time and you've been stacking and you have a 10 ounce bar, you can't exactly go meet someone out in the street and say, hey, yeah, um, can I cut a piece of this off and trade you for a loaf of bread? You could get robbed and get jacked. Um, they could just beat you up and take your stuff. However, um, I know there's people out there that can be like, nah, I'm carrying. Okay. With that being said, you don't want to show it. They can up the price on you. All of a sudden, what you could have gotten away with for a small piece of silver, now they want a little bit more of a sliver. Um, you don't want to be showing more than you have uh, if you don't have to. More than you want to give if you don't have to. Th something like this, down the road, if I need a cow um, and the world has came to an end, I can trade that for a cow. Or I can borrow money against it with a friend. Or I can um, sell it. Uh, if the price keeps going up and put it for a down payment on a car, maybe part of a house, maybe fix a water heater, whatever. This is real wealth. This is not fiat currency. It's real wealth. It goes up in value. This is not financial advice, but I want you guys to understand what we're looking at here. Okay, so back to the more important thing, the question about junk silver. What's the purpose of it? Why are premiums off the charts when it comes to this stuff? So for those of you that don't know, junk silver is basically half dollars, quarters, or silver dimes made prior to 1964. With some exceptions, the half dollar actually goes to 1970. However, it's only 40% on them. So you need to understand that. Still cheap silver, good opportunity to save some money if they're 40%. Um, but a lot of people recognize 90%. So it's going to have a high demand. And we're starting to see a premium on this stuff, a hefty premium. As we're seeing now, in some cases, 35 to $1. That means that essentially four quarters is going to cost $35. 10 dimes, $35. Two half dollars, $35. Is that the silver price? Absolutely not. In fact, that is almost double the silver price because the melt price on a silver quarter right now is approximately just under $5 at the time of filming this video. So when you think about that, $5 and they want $8.50. Uh, I guess that's a 60, what is that, like a 65%, 70% premium. A little hefty, 
when you can get uh, generic rounds at uh, $6, maybe at 25% premium, focus on that. Are there opportunities to get this stuff cheap? Be honest, a coin shop that I extremely trust that has a tester, they can test this stuff. They actually cut one open um, to test it. As you can see, there are only 49 of them here. Happened to get these in and he gave me a great deal on them. I recognize that this is a good deal. I bought a lot of stuff from him and he said, you know what? I'll give you the break on them. Um, and I didn't get them for much more of a price than I would an ounce of silver. I mean, granted, 10 of them equal an ounce of silver, but it's pretty cool. Now, it was exceptionally cool to me because if you zoom in on it, One Nation Under God, Republic of Texas. Well, that's pretty cool because we're in Texas, or at least I am. Um, this is five units, RUA Texan. One tenth ounce, 999 silver. Two something, 14. I don't know if that's a serial number down there or what. Um, so pretty cool, uh, coins. I, I really like these. They're really popular, uh, amongst Texans. A lot of people like them if they're lucky enough to even find them. Um, as you get into the smaller stuff, premiums go through the roof. Uh, however, I've got to say, if I can have a one gram for about the same price as a silver dime, the fact that that silver dime is 90% and this one gram is 999, that means that there's 10% extra junk metal in here. That's okay to me. People recognize that. They don't know if this is real. This could be plated. I mean, I know only because as a joke, we wanted to test one. <laughs> um, I don't know why, because it's so small, but it was just a fun little thing. Uh, do they have really cool designs? Absolutely. Let's zoom in on one here. Look at that. Nice little, I don't know if I can even get that in there. Best friend. It's a puppy. Um, we got a little generic Morgan. Very tiny. Pretty coin, but like the tiniest Morgan you'll probably ever see. And I'll show you one more. A five gram Scottsdale. So pretty cool there. Um, very popular. There is a two gram Volcambi, Volcambi right there. Um, however, I want people to understand. Five grams now is roughly one sixth or seventh of a ounce of silver. However, you're going to spend on this five grams approximately eight dollars maybe. Yeah, probably $8. I'd rather have a silver quarter. Um, is it pure silver? No. People recognize that. People ain't going to recognize this. A lot to think about when you start getting into these little microscopic grams of silver. The premiums are through the roof, and they sell you on this stuff because they say you can have a gram of silver for as little as $3. You can start investing in the silver market. Well, if... 32 grams equals an ounce. That means you're paying basically $96 for an ounce of silver. When you can go and buy a full ounce of silver right now for approximately 31, maybe 32 bucks, depending on where you're buying it from. Are they cool? Absolutely. I, I was going to trade them off to someone, but as I'm shooting a video and I shot a video earlier today using these, I'm kind of questioning, do I really want to let them go? Uh, maybe for a couple of ounces I would, but they're kind of cool looking. Um, I didn't pay the big premium like other people, so they're neat in that case. And I love the 10 ounce Navy bar because I am retired Navy. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing. Um, with that being said, 90% now, lower premiums, although the premiums, like I said, are jumping, but you still have the opportunity to find this type of stuff literally 18, 17, 18 times face. That means about a buck 80 for a dime, approximately 450 for a quarter, approximately nine dollars for a half dollar is it hard are you going to find it everywhere if we could all find it for that price everywhere we would be buying it left and right and that would all be all i have in my stack however realistically 
I see this stuff all the time at 11, 12 bucks, five, five fifty, two, two fifty all day. Um, there's plenty of it out there. I don't believe in the hype of you better hurry up and get yours. They're not making anymore. It's gonna run out. It's bartable. It's collectible. It's not collectible in my opinion. Maybe these walking liberties are pretty collectible because I actually have been on the fence of building a set of these only because I have a bunch of them. Um, and it might look nice in a fancy book. The quarters, there's a lot of silver quarters out there. Uh, some people make mistakes and cash them in now and then. That's kind of an inside joke. Um, but it does happen. Um, dimes, there's a lot of dimes out there too. Um, however, don't get caught up in the high, high premiums. Look around for premium deals that you can get a good deal on. In my opinion, it's not a collectible. Are they making any more of it? No, they're not making any more of it. Did they make millions and billions of these coins? Absolutely. Um, I don't want to see any of you guys buy something because that's you're going to lose money on. If you buy these quarters as high as eight fifty nine dollars on some of the big sites because it's a silver quarter, it is going to eat into basically your profits later. And that's what premiums do. They steal your profits down the road. They're stealing them today. Because essentially, if you pay that much, $8, $9 for a quarter, you might have been able to find two quarters for that price. And then when the deals do come up, you'll have already spent your money. I don't want to see any of you guys. I look out for you guys. That's why I tell you guys where I get my stuff from. I'm an open book. I tell you guys almost everything. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. Um, I would love to help you. But are we going to need these to barter in the streets? I mean, anything can happen. The economy could be Venezuela in a couple months from now. Um, I don't see that happening. I see a slow decline in the dollar, and I see eventually just a higher silver price. And if you get into it now, you have an opportunity to protect some of your wealth. I'm not going to tell you get rich quick, because if this silver quarter is good for a gallon or two of gas, well, you know what? When the world is falling apart, it's still probably going to be good for a gallon or two of gas. And if the prices just keep going up on everything, it's still going to be good for probably a gallon or two of gas. Could we see a blow off top? Absolutely. Could we see something where silver is just way overvalued? Obviously, if a silver quarter throughout history, as far as we know in our short history, has been equal to a gallon of gas, a lot of people use the gallon of gas for a quarter story then it only makes sense that a gallon of gas is the fair average. Gallon of gas, maybe we'll say $5. That means silver quarter should be $5. But the higher premiums, and the premiums come because everybody's buying it up. We're all buying it up. So with that being said, watch what you're buying. Be very careful. I don't want to see anybody get caught up. Um, if you pay a little extra, that's great. Would I utilize any of this stuff and try to get a little bit of a trade on it? Yes, because I understand it's in high demand. And as long as people are paying it, any coin shop or establishment is going to try to get that price because they can. Uh, these coins right here, at this point, I only have 49 of them. I think I only, really only have 47 in here now because I gave a couple away um, for giveaways on the channel. I gave one to a buddy of mine. Um, you know, But I, I want to make sure you guys understand what's going on with this type of stuff. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If I didn't answer a question, ask me the question in the comments below, and I will be sure to answer the question because there's always going to be a question about something being said. Um, if you think, hey, it would be cool if we gave one or two of these away on the channel, let me know. I mean, you guys know I'm giving away an American Silver Eagle right now um, if the drawing hasn't happened yet um, at the end of this month, at the end of April. Um, 2023 so um go check out that giveaway video if that date hasn't came the end of april um if you think hey that would be a really cool giveaway to give away one or two of these next month to some lucky subscriber drop it in an envelope mail it out to you it ain't nothing to me it's a small 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 thing so let me know i don't even know if anybody will even mention this giveaway because sometimes people don't always make it um to the end of the video, especially when it's a 15 minute video. I'm sorry. I try to keep them at 10 minutes exactly. So, but with that being said, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're subscribed and y'all have a great one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.